All right, we're gonna go over some basic exponent rules here to help you with the Khan Academy module. The first one is if you're multiplying two values and they have the same base, right? So it's a times a, let's say, and you know the exponents are m and n. What do you do? Well, this means you can simplify by just saying that this equals a to the m plus n power. A simple example would be something like three squared times 3 to the third, which equals 3 to the 2 plus 3, right? Or 3 to the fifth. And usually, you don't even have to even expand this. It goes back to the idea that 3 squared is 3 times 3, and 3 to the third is 3 times 3 times 3. So you imagine when you multiply these, you get a group of 2 threes and a group of 3 threes. That means you have a group of 5 threes being multiplied. And this idea extends into division in a way. If we're dividing two numbers with the same base, instead of adding, we subtract. So here, this would equal a to the m minus n. So if we have 3 to the 4th divided by 3 to the 3rd, this equals 3 to the 4 minus 3, which equals 3 to the 1, or just 3. And this extends to the idea where when you divide, you cancel out pairs, right? So 3 to the 4th is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, divided by 3 times 3 times 3. And, well, each corresponding pair now will cancel out when you divide them. In other words, you can think of subtracting all the 3's you have in the denominator from all the 3's you have in the numerator. All those pairs are essentially not important. They all just equal 1 and won't change your answer, and what remains is the value you need. In this case, 1, 3. The other scenario is with basic laws of exponents here is if you have something raised to the m power and that is being raised to a power, in that case you multiply the exponents, right? So it would be the m times n. So in this case, if you had 3 squared to the third power, what does that equal? Well, that equals 3 to the sixth power. The idea being that 3 squared is 3 times 3 and you have three groups, right, because it's being raised to the third power of three times three, and that's six threes altogether. Now, the Khan Academy module, they, they utilize this, but give you a lot of uh, negative values to work with, but you shouldn't be overwhelmed, and uh, you, you know, be flexible. Hold on to the fact that those simple rules are really what you're going to be applying. So if you have something like three to the fourth times two to the fifth, and this is all being raised um, to the, I don't know, third power, what happens now? Well, now when you have a product, right, of two different bases inside the exponent, this exponent 3 applies to both. So you can think of this as 3 to the 4th, right, to the third power, times 2 to the 5th, right, to the third power. And that equals what? Well, 3 to the 12th, right, times... 2 to the 15th. So you can break that down piece by piece. Um, and this type of scenario, when you have negative right exponents, what will happen? Well, either every exponent will be negative in some way, and the products will be positive or negative, or um, some exponents will be positive and negative, and that will kind of mix up your results. So let's deal with those two cases right here. Okay. Let's do this. Okay, so here in the first one, we would have 3 to the positive 12th because a negative 4 times a negative 3 is a positive 12. And then 2 to the negative 5 to the negative 3rd is 2 to the positive 15th. So here, nothing really changes. But in the second case, you have 3 to the negative 4 to the 3rd is 3 to the negative 12th. And then times 2 to the 5th uh, to the 3rd power, or 2 to the 15th. In this case, you have 2 to the 15th over 3 to the 12th. In this case, that's because, um, you know, a negative exponent here, oops, a negative exponent, it refers to division, or you can think of this as 1 over 3 to the 12th times 2 to the 15th, which would still be this right here. Those are some different scenarios you might face in this module. Thanks.